Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some truths and a sprinkle of some of my opinion. And I do that very well. And without further ado, let me share a bit of truths that's gonna hurt you very much. Nate Peterman is gonna be the week one starter. And a lot of y'all need to pull up a seat and get comfortable. Cause this could be something that could last a long time. Now a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, get the out of here. What are you talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Nate Peterman has an opportunity right now. He's got an opportunity to A, redeem himself. B, to take the second chance that McDermott is giving him and to run with it. And three, or C, you know what I'm saying? Keep it. And it's gonna be a tall task. It is not gonna be easy. You ever play Jenga and you pull in that one, that one block that could be it? or that can make you win this game against somebody else, you pull that one block and it's a perfect move and you sabotage the other guy, that's exactly what is potentially happening right now. You got Jenga blocks in front of you, Nate Peterman, and it's your next move. Your next move could be your best move. And that's by playing hard, playing smart, getting rid of the ball, not turning the ball over, and putting points on the board. But you make the wrong move. It's a wrap because now the man they drafted to, I don't want to say succeed, but the man they drafted to take over the reins in Buffalo is on your heels. He will permanently be on your heels unless you take the perfect block. For those that are saying, what about the rookie? What about Josh Allen? Here's the deal. The future is still bright for Josh Allen. Does he have a lot to learn? Absolutely. Like any rookie does or any second year player like Nate Peterman. You feel me? But Josh Allen, it may not be his time yet. It just may not be Josh Allen's time. You never wanna rush a good thing. Josh Allen could be a great thing. And if you rush a good thing and you take the great thing and you try to force it to make it happen, anytime, anytime you try to force something that is just not organically right, could go to shambles could be ruined you don't want to ruin a good thing in josh allen this is a good position for bills fans to be in you have a guy right now nate peterman that has everything stacked against him but he can do it we bills fans love an underdog nate peterman is your quintessential underdog he is the guy you want to root for failed at tennessee redeemed himself in pittsburgh Drafted in the fourth round, comes in, gets his first rookie start, throws five interceptions in one half. Yo, it's a wrap. Most people already counting him out. But my man stayed the course. You know what I'm saying? Trust in himself. You know what I'm saying? Has faith, put the work in, and he's got the opportunity. That is your ultimate underdog. Why aren't we rooting for this? Why aren't Bills fans rooting for this situation? Because this is the ideal Bills situation. What we've wanted for the longest time is having a nice rookie quarterback, first round, big arm that reminds us of the old Jim Kelly, the good old days. But don't be so quick to give up on Nate. Not just yet. We have our prized rookie. We have him for a little bit now. Let's let him marinate. Let him soak in the experiences that he's going to earn holding that clipboard. We could have the guy that really should be our franchise quarterback in Nate Peterman. We need to just embrace the moment. A lot of us don't want to embrace the moment. Right now, the moment is Nate Peterman's. Josh Allen's still gonna be there. So if this moment doesn't work, guess what? We got the rookie to take over. This could very well be the process that McDermott is talking about. We've got to trust the process. And the process could be Nate. The Nate Peterman process is what NPP stands for, for those that don't know. Are you down with NPP? We got to give him a shot. We got to. What's the worst that can happen? 
five interceptions again. Hook him. But let this man marinate. Let Josh Allen marinate. He will get his lumps. He will get his lumps. But just not yet. You guys give that some thought. Let me know what you guys think. Am I tripping? I try to be as unbiased as I can. You know what I'm saying? Can I root for the underdog? The damn right. And you, as Bills fans, should somewhat embrace this underdog mentality. Who doesn't like an underdog story? Nate's the guy for that. But guess what? We could have the future that's right, right next to him. So, leave me your thoughts. Leave me your comments. I'm very interested in hearing what you guys got to say about this. Uh, we'll see you week one. We'll see you week one. And we'll find out who's really, who's, we'll find out what's really good. Is it MPP? Or is it the Rook? You guys let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. It's Buffalo Fanatics. It's your boy Rico. And I'm gone. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris Carley.